Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and I've decided to reinstate the randomizer. Yes, I have. It has been a long, 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 long time since I've used this, but um, we got tainted mammon. Nice. Um, but yeah, I decided to reinstate the, uh, the randomizer because we haven't been using it in a real long time, and I enjoy it. And anyways, we got Tainted Mammon. I'm very happy to play Tainted Mammon. I've been enjoying him thoroughly. He does have unlocks as well, I believe. Um, so we'll jump in and see what we can do with him. Uh, we played him previously. Like I said, I still don't have a thumbnail prepared for him, but it's fine. I think you guys understand that making custom art for things, it ain't easy. Um, it's not something I can just ask people to do on a whim, so... It's, I, I get it done when I can, but yeah. Either way, we'll get to play as Tainted Mammon here. Hopefully have a good time as him yet again. Um, because so far, as a character as a whole, I really, really enjoy this character. Really enjoy this character. Um, as for your question of the day today. Hmm. What's an animal that you really dislike? What's, what's an animal that you really dislike? I, I was going to try and think of something pig-themed, but I'm like, I don't really know of any pig-themed questions. I'm just like, in, in general, what's an animal you dislike? Not that I dislike pigs, but... Hey, her. Um, force you to fire at every... <coughs> <coughs> Immediately died. <coughs> oh, oh, God. Okay, we're only going to fire one key, so it's fine. I wasn't so bad on the first floor, especially. No worry to me. Get that dirty head away from me. Okay, what we got there? Damage down. We can take that for now. Ooh, we're getting a lot of stuff here. Ow. Do not take my black heart, good sir. Take the damage down. Curse the blind. Take that as well. Just take it all on this first floor and get, get everything we can going on. Everything we can. Um, Grant's Curse the Lost. Do you know what? Just go for it. We're just absolutely piling it on right now. Considering we don't need a key, I like this. But yeah, really, really like this character. I think they're very interesting and they're very fun. Um, someone in the last episode was like, oh, this guy's just Isaac. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, I, I did, literally did not mean to pick that up at all. It literally farted it into me. Um, that one's definitely a risk um, on certain rooms, but... We'll just have to see how this goes. Luckily, this room here, no projectiles, so the homing doesn't mean much. I, although, I have to say, this is not a very kind room at all. The stonies in here can uh, certainly go fudge themselves just a bit because they can be really, really annoying. Mainly because they keep pushing me. There you go. Right. Basically, we've got to hope that the room uh, towards the shop doesn't end up having a ton of of um, a ton of enemies with projectiles in it, which it kind of does. It, th the problem being, really, realistically, is that a lot of enemies aren't meant to have herming. So when they're given herming, it can really cause some issues. Also, this is quite the room right here. Quite the room indeed. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, here we go. So unfortunately, we do have Cast the Blind here, so we are buying blind. But I'm certainly... Oh, wait, we got rid of our cast the Blind, of course. Nice. We will definitely get that. Plus one burn heart spawns, burn spares, may grant burn orbitals. Eh, that's not that good. Um, Still never really know how to use this. 50% chance to break. Teleport you to the starting room. Rerolls all rooms previously visited. Rerolling has the following effects. Being able to D7 every room and redo the floor is kind of good. Do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll take it this time around. And, um... Let me just see. Teleport you to the starting room. Okay, so... We've only done Mum's Heart this guy thus far. So we could just use it now, and it did indeed break. So now every room is repeatable, right? Yeah, okay. So basically my thinking here is maybe I can get a bunch more curses. And just room drops in general on an easy floor. But yeah, we, we, our hourglass did break in terms of a regular hourglass, which is not actually terrible. Not actually that terrible at all, having the regular hourglass. But yeah, don't think we'll get as many cases as we got last time. We literally got the same ones before. I'm not taking that one this time, though, because 
three keys is a bit too much to lose, in my opinion. Um, I'd rather not. Ahaha! Sis allows me to kill that enemy instantly this time. Makes me feel a lot better. We got this- Okay, so we're getting the same curses. Like, literally the exact same ones. So, we'll take all of them apart from the blinding one. Because we won't get that one again. We're getting all the same curses that we got before, which is definitely rather interesting. Probably should have used my, um... Assist on this guy. Do you know what? I'm going to slow this room down just to make this guy a little bit less annoying to deal with. Yeah, do not take that because if we get a boss that fires a lot of projectiles, it's going to absolutely wreck us. Do not want that. Do not want that. Oh, I keep forgetting with Sist, I need to make sure not to fire my... Um, I need to remember not to fire my shot straight away as I enter the room. I need to uh, wait until I get in line with an enemy and actually deal some top quality damage. Managed to just about dodge that guy. Let me get an extra key here. We get our boss. Okay, so it would have been fine to take the projectile one here. But remember, we would have been having to do the uh, entire rest of the floor as well. It's not uh, like next floor is what I mean. It's not just this floor that's the issue. Fortunately, the hourglass here... And its base form is not very good. I remember when we got the golden version of it before, which is not the golden hourglass we just got. We got a golden version of the regular hourglass to double the duration. And that was pretty good. It made it pretty useful. But otherwise, it's not great. Our damage right now isn't so good because we've got the lowered damage multiplier. We'll get a good bit of money out of that, though, which I quite like. Excuse me. Excuse me. Larry boy, get over here. Finally, we got him. Oh, didn't mean to pick that up. Don't know what that does. Don't know what the lame sunglasses do. We'll take this. Pretty happy with magic scab there. And we'll go. We'll go this way. I want to try. I want to try and see the boiler floor as much as we possibly can. So I'm willing to go down this way. Hey, and we got the boiler floor again. Hell yes. Gotta love it. So this floor just actually gives you items, which is curious. This one's reflected, so I'm gonna take this. Um. Well, that's pretty good. Nice, nice. Having two of them doesn't do too much for us, but it gave us extra stats. Oh, uh, this is what the, the sunglasses does. It drops some of our money on the floor, I remember now. I just love the music on this goddamn floor. It's so good. Ah! Didn't realize that was a thing. Do I... Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. I was like, how do I get past this now? That's pretty cool, though. I like that. Ooh, what's this furnace-looking guy doing? I really need to be picking up my coins. I'm just leaving them all out there. They get disappeared. Just looking for a few more curses. Is this guy championed? He's a champion, yeah. Looking for a few more curses. Before I go into the shop. See, now this is just unfair. I'm not able to get any of this crap back. What are these guys doing? Got a whole spinny thing on their head. I like the rocks on this floor as well. Go the extra mile to make it fit in with Fiend Folio. It's nice. Oh my god, the music is just so good. Little propeller heads. You can only move while they're propelling. I like that. Really, really, like, stylistic type of enemy. I mean, these furnace guys are as well. I'm not sure which furnace I've already done a lot of damage to. These guys are tough. I have quite a bit of HP. You explode on death. Wow, good hit on me there, sir. Good hit. Sadly, no curses here. Should be using this whenever I get the opportunity. Nice. Got that first shot on you. Do your little head slam, my guy. Do your little head slam. Definitely feel my damage being a bit low. Speed upgrade is rather nice here. Nice, nice. Ooh, there's a miniature version of that guy. I need to remember I get Spectral and Herming after uh, a certain distance of our shots travelling. We definitely need range up for that. It's going to make things a lot better. Bunch of these things about. And some leeches as well. Fire leeches, I guess? Okay, so we didn't end up getting anything extra out of this floor. Little bit of a shame, but we'll go and sell the curses that we have um, and see what we can get. Or at least try and sell them. I don't know if the shop appears every floor, because previously it didn't appear. Well, there he is. There he is. Good. Um, 
This is tricky. Let's see how much money we end up getting. Not as much as I was hoping, because Pentacles is, is pretty good. But then again, we don't pick up many items apart from shops. So we don't have... Ugh. I'm going to have to take Deep Pockets. It's just too good not to take. I really like Pentacles. I think Pentacles is great. But Deep Pockets is going to give us money on room rewards as well, which I think is very, very valuable for us. I like it. Also, it's got a cool, like, animated coin eye thing going on, which I very much love. I've used Salomo too quickly here. This is another new boss to me here. I have absolutely no idea what's going on with this guy. He seems to be some sort of locomotive, uh, which is pretty interesting. We have our damage back now as well, which is great. Remember, we have Spectral and Herming after a certain distance. Okay, I, I, I really like this. This kind of reminds me of um, Hornfell, but um, cloud-based. I like it. I like the, the theming of the steam. I like these uh, new steam projectiles as well. They're pretty cool. Certainly a tough boss. There's a lot going on. A lot to deal with. But we're getting through it. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting through it. I, I, I honestly don't really know how much... Um, how, like, how far we are through the fight right now. And I don't know if we kill these enemies segment by segment or if it's like Larry where you kill one and it all dies. I am very surprised thus far to have not been hit. I'm sure I'm going to come to regret saying that, but... Done immensely well so far as to not be hit too much. Oh, there you go. There it, there it goes. Okay, so we are killing them one at a time by the looks of things. Okay, no, so the other ones are going to run away now, I see. We can get extra rewards for killing them. Nice. Um, damage taken is doubled. It's scary, but I'm going to take it. We we'll just go down to the next floor. Sadly, we can't buy. I keep forgetting that we need to buy our boss item. That's something I need to keep in mind. There's more reasons than just the shop to keep our money. But yeah, if we can try and find range upgrades, we should really do that. Boom, 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 boom. Back to the regular old floor. I'll take this. Why not? That's why not. It did double damage as well. Put me on half a heart. So this 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 might be a, a quick restart for this run, to be honest. It's uh, certainly plausible unless we find our shop reasonably soon and we can make it work and get rid of this curse. But I kind of want to get more curses before selling this one, but at only half a heart, it makes me want to sell it pretty much straight out the straight off the bat. This could save us, to be fair, this, this little chest here. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to say hearts are normally plentiful in chests. Okay. Keep on moving. Try and use our assist shot to get a kill. Even if it's only just a basic enemy. Still nice. I really like the fact that... I don't know if this guy specifically is, but... I really like the fact that Boiler has added some enemies to the regular downpour as well. I, I don't know if these guys are. I just don't recognize them. So it's, pl it's plausible that they are. I, I don't know if they are. Hey, and there's Deep Pockets coming in clutch. Whenever we don't get a room drop, we can get pennies. Um, we get two here. We got... Um... Hearts no longer, uh, hearts can no longer be picked up. Attempts to heal through any other means will fail. Health will still be lost or taken away. Curse of Darkness. We can take both of these. Very risky to take the one that means I can't heal. But my hope is just that it goes okay. <laughs> my hope is just that I get to the shop and I don't take any damage before then. And it doesn't matter. That is my hope. My hopes always come true. See, can't even pick that heart up. We can come back for it though, at least. At least it doesn't let you pick it up. It's not like it picks up and disappears. It just doesn't let you. I prefer that. Oh my god, I, I hit the exact enemy I was aiming for there. I didn't think that would be so easy, but it worked. I don't like Piss McGee over here. Oh, he's crying because I stopped him pissing. Curse the Unknown. Curse of the Unknown's kind of a silly one. It's not knowing, um, not, not Unknown, sorry. Curse the, the one that doesn't show you items, because you just go into the shop and get rid of it straight away. It's pretty funny. Okay, we definitely want to do this. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to kill him in one hit, so we're going to have to do this. This is a room that I could take significant damage in, just because of the nature of this bastard firing his, uh, explosives. But, at the same time... As you just saw there, 
were able to take out the other enemy because of him. Which I appreciate. Also got this, which is taking damage the Broken Heart. Take that. And then, Fleeting Rooms has a chance to not grant item charges or even remove charges. Okay, we're all good on that front. We will uh, put our stuff in the bag and get our uh, earnings from you. Some good stuff here. We will take Mother's Love most definitely, because uh, that will give us a familiar as well. And that gives us Mended Knife. Nice. And then we'll take this as well for an additional stat upgrade. And then I'll take this just to make sure I don't die. But we still got good money. And yeah, we got some good stat upgrades from um, this stuff. We got the Mended Heart here. Honestly, I'm not going to take the glasses. It's a value of only five coins. I don't think it's enough for the potential chance of me losing coins. I feel like I'm much more likely to lose coins than anything. That five there. Yeah. Also, yeah, the Mended Knife, great familiar to get here. Um, for one, it has piercing, as you just saw there. For two, the knife just does good damage. You've got to kind of be uh, like particular about how you aim it. But it does really, really good damage. And it's piercing and spectral too, like I just showed, which is real nice. Just missed out on that guy. Oh god, he did the little thing. I wasn't expecting it. He very rarely does this attack, even though it says my like, main attack. We go, we got booster pack. Uh, damage taken is increased by one. I've got enough money. I'm gonna I'm gonna abstain from that. Let's check the devil deal out. Um okay, I, I for some reason forgot the devil deal didn't cost HP, but we'll take uh Wrath here. Because I quite like it. it. Does give us broken hearts, granted, but still it's good. Um and I don't honestly think that booster pack is really worth the money. Uh, let's go down. Honestly, our character is looking absolutely amazing right now as well. Back down to the regular flaws. Yeah, this does give us three broken hearts, but it does also mean that all of our projectiles that hit generate additional projectiles that do 30% of our damage, which I really like. Visually, I just think I love it. Like, I just think it's really cool. But also, just the actual 30% damage. Um, it's just, like, really, it's just a 30% damage boost across the board, which is really nice. And honestly, normally, three Broken Hearts is enough to not matter too much over the course of a whole run. Also, just the sound effects as well are, like, pretty awesome. Uh, slightly lowered damage, we can take that. Only slightly lowered. Oh god, that was close. Good, good. Just makes me feel like an absolute boss when there's all these shots jumbling around and hitting things. It's awesome. Having that cool herming effect. Um, completing rooms is a chance to not grant item charges or even remove charges. That's fine by me. I'm not really using my active all that much. It'd be cool to see... Um, this is mainly to the developer of uh, the mod that, that Wrath comes from. It'd be cool to see... Uh, Item that replaces your, um, oh god, I forgot that these guys shot. Uh, that replaces your actual tiers with these sort of tiers. So, basically, it's like your regular shooting, but you've got to wait a little bit to, um, awesome. you got to wait a little bit for it to hit. That's kind of the downside, but they, they have that, like, really cool herming effect. Uh, it'd be cool to just see that as, like, a tier replacer. And then, then it could, like, adopt your tier effects and stuff. It'd be pretty cool, I think. It'd be fun. And you've already done the work, so it wouldn't be a hard item to make either. But they do like fall damage rather than 30%, of course. Oh, the mended knife is just killing it right now. Where is our shop? Oh, dude, this electric little fuck danced around me there. Slight tears down. Annoying, but we're going to find our shop any minute, so I'll take it. You can't hit me, boy. And then we've got Icarus-style enemy upgrades. I can also take that. I think at this point, I don't really need to take any more curses. That That is one limitation, I'd say, of the character. Or not, I wouldn't say limitation, but one thing that holds the character back is you can get so much money 
that you no longer need to play into the gimmick. And I kind of wish that wasn't the case. I wish there was a reason to play into the gimmick other than just the money. Because there is, yeah, like, I have no reason to play into the gimmick with the amount of money I have, really. Look, minus seven. It's annoying, but it's fine. Into the shop we go. We get some real good stuff here. We get all our money. Lodestone's great. Pater Wind's great. This is really good too. Makes our health slightly scary, but it's fine. I'm going to pay into you a little bit. I'm going to give you another, like, ten. Pretty good. That's even better. Okay, you, you were worthwhile today. On this day, you did me good. Even got some more damage up there. Nice. Good stuff, right. We can carry on. Be happy with our lives. I want to get a bit more HP going. But we do have three free hits every floor now. Apart from this one. This one doesn't count. But ne from next floor onwards, we have three free hits every floor. Which is really, really good. Oh my god. Oh my god. So much happening. I'm happy to have Lodestone as well here. Lodestone's kind of great. I think Nose Go is Nose Goblin broken as hell with, with rats still? It might be. Last time I used it, it was broken as hell. Um, randomly enter rooms for random doors. Doors lies about what type they lead to. Only for five coins, not going to bother. Curse the Unknown's fine by me. And I have no keys right now, so I'll take that as well. Um, and then this is HP, so I'm going to take it. Why not? It's a little bit of money, but it's fine. And down we go. <clears throat> we do got to remember that this character does have shops in the womb as well, so we want to be searching around. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, I want to see if Booker T is still really broken with wrath. So it used to be. I'm not sure if it still is. Basically, what it used to do is it used to make it so that once a Booger shot got stuck, it would just generate a shit ton of wrath shots. Like, constantly. And it was very, very useful, but it was very, very strong. I think it got patched. I've got to find out. Oh, dude. Ha Come on now. Keep it going. Keep it moving. But yeah, as you see, we didn't take any damage there. Here. Yeah. Curse the Unknown. I think we already have Curse the Unknown, so that doesn't really do anything to hurt us. We just got Curse the Unknown twice. I can get behind that. Aha, the knife goes hard. Okay, so I, from what I saw there, it does still work with Wrath, but it's not as broken as it once was. Not going to take the Curse pennies for now. Okay, it's doing some weird stuff with the Nose Goblin's look. It's doing some strange stuff, but it's not what I expected. Get out of here, explosive fella. Ooh, we got one of these chests. Oh, this, this uses up our free hits, though. I'll, I'll gamble. Ayo. Didn't actually get that much from that, to be honest. Bit disappointing. We've got some wisps, though, from it, which are nice, I guess. Definitely. That one, the Lama, is just absolutely terrible. Never take that. It's so devastatingly, like, bad. It just does so much to uh, make the enemies terrible. What champion is this? Makes their projectiles way too quick. Rass looking for the shop here. Also, thank you, Laser Buddy, for killing that guy for me. Hey, more wisps to the party, baby. Hell yes. 
Welcome to the party, pal. These guys aren't too bad. Right, good, good. Grab those. And good to sell. We got some good items here as well. Didn't mean to buy the sack, but we bought it now. Ram's head and 120 volt are both great. Take the Empress as well. Dwelling Hourglass is actually potentially pretty good too. Right, good to go. We are a Necro 1 so far. Good sir, hello. So yeah. The Bugatier does generate Wraith shots periodically, but not like it used to. You have been deaded, fat man. I did say range would be useful for us, but that is like, I don't know. All tier effects removed is a certain uh, uh term of holy healing. I mean, it's not that good for us, but if we get more red health, it could be great. So I'll take it along for the ride. Yeah, I can't imagine it's going to be that useful when we've only got one red heart. I'll take this. Why not? And we'll go down to the next floor. See what we can get going on. So far, though, enjoying myself immensely. Cool. I'm shoving for more curses this floor so we can get something good going on with the shop. Damage taken is doubled. Considering we have three free hits, I'm actually going to say that's pretty good. The funny thing is, Yum Heart right now is just as valuable as this book is. I just want the book because it looks cooler. But yeah, right now, we only heal one heart, so Yum Heart is actually just as valuable. But charges a lot quicker. Yeah, Ram's Head was a great pickup for us. Luckily, we're still going to get Deep Pockets money here and there as well. It's very, very good. Very, very good. Tell you what I've been doing recently, and I'm sure it's no surprise to you that I've been watching the channel for a little bit. Um, ooh, ooh non-fatal damage to you. Okay, well, let's, let's just take it. Why not? Um, I've been just playing a bunch of Skyrim recording it. I've got like seven or so episodes backlogged. I haven't started uploading them yet, but I'm going to soon. I just want to get a nice healthy backlog before I start uploading so people aren't going to miss it if I end up stopping playing for a little while. Um, which I'm not planning to do, but still. Um, but yeah, so... I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It's just playing modded Skyrim. There's definite bugs and issues with playing modded Skyrim. Like, it's never going to be perfect, but it's doing pretty well. Going pretty well. I'm having a, a very jolly old time, I've got to say. Come on, Cursed Trinkets. Drop a few more for me. Okay, I've got a few of these little froggy boys, which I detest. But, Lodestone actually makes them a lot easier, so that is nice. Also, Wraith is good too, because it's herming. Makes them easier just having herming on them. And hit the small guys a lot easier than I can. Silver, very, very frustrating. But yeah, I've just been like traveling around Skyrim, enjoying the scenery, having a jolly old time, like picking up quests. I'm definitely at the minute really under leveled because uh, I've got like a bunch of mods that make the game harder because um, the game by default is very, very easy. But it just means that at the minute I'm kind of getting my shit kicked in because like all the hit, like I'm just too low level for loads of the areas that I'm stepping into. Take that as well, why not? Okay, we're probably good to hand in these curses now. We've got four. We've got good money as well. But yeah, do, like, do you guys ever do that in games, like open world games, where sometimes you'll just enjoy walking around the scenery, walking around the world? Like, with the mods that I have on, that's definitely a big part of my enjoyment of Skyrim right now. Also, HP here, nice. Um, Sell item or pick up in target mark. Spawn one coin if no pickup was targeted. We can sell stuff. I mean, unfortunately, that doesn't 
really do much for us because we're we not going to see item pedestals, so that doesn't really work for us right now. I'll definitely take this though. And um, the compass, why not? Help later down the line. Oh, there's a... See, this is this is why. This is why we've got to be careful. There's a planetarium on this floor that I could have missed out on. I've only got a 1% chance. I definitely was about to leave as well. The game... The compass got my back. That's why you explore your flaws, people. I don't too often, and it sucks because I miss out on things. But then again, if you don't know about, if you don't know you're missing out on it, then it's not too bad. Oh, that nurse goblin did some crazy stuff with Rave Shot there. Beautiful. What a great trinket. 120 volt getting some shots in there as well. Here we go. So many of these egg sack boys. I swear, do you guys notice on uh, when playing Isaac and watching my Isaac videos that, like, you'll have a run where you'll see tons of the same enemy, and then you'll have weeks where you never see that enemy again. And then you have another run where you see tons, and it seems, it seems, it seems to happen where one enemy like type is like really common for one run. We get ourselves Mercurius, which is actually pretty nice. Being able to walk through doorways. Also, the speed upgrade is just lovely. And this, like, this whole Lodestone plus Wraith plus the Mercurius one, the... The, our character just looks awesome right now. This looks really cool. I'm trying to let 120 volt deal with these guys a little bit. Um, Curse the Unknown again. We keep getting Curse the Unknown, but it doesn't really bother me. Right, back we go. Back we go. Some pennies in this room I missed. Gimme, gimme. But yeah, this, this book for certain characters, or certain runs in general, could be super, super valuable. A 12 room charge, full heal. Pretty good. It's a pretty basic item, but I like the idea, to be honest. Just simple. Full heal. Not always going to be useful, but for some players, especially pet players that might not be doing so hot on their run, really, really useful to have that full heal. Also, if you've got a lot of red hearts for like abusing machines and de demon beggars and stuff like that, very valuable in that regard, too. Missed out on my thingy shot there because I'm a doofus. Might be a bit of a slow fight here. We aren't, aren't going to hit boss rush unfortunately. We're missing out on that. Our damage isn't the greatest in the world. It's decent enough. We got one hit out of our three free hits there. I think that's our first hit anyways. It's not exactly a slow fight by any means, but it's not quick. Room to room, I felt stronger than this, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Ow. Don't want that guy stealing my shit, to be honest. He's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, we do need damage, so let's take Dark Path, shall we? Pretty big damage bonus for us, especially on going onto the womb. And like I said, remember... I think we do have a shop. Oh no, we don't have a shop. Okay. I don't know why I got a shop last time then. Maybe it's only on the, the, the womb too that you get a shop. Also got to remember as well. That if a room seems too daunting to us. Or if we just want to check where we're going. We can. Nice. Like rooms like this just. I don't care. I just don't care. Oh, bugger. That was a bad hit. Okay, though. Outside of treasure rooms, uh, cursed trinkets are replaced with a single penny. Are replaced with mammoth style. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. We're good, it's boss time. Just blast assist. Shouldn't be too difficult. Especially get some bugger tears on there. I love Lodestone as well. Lodestone just adds so much to a run. I really wish I was good at art for um, runs like this. Because I've seen that thing where people... Um... Yeah, I don't really want to take my curses here. Uh, I will take this and then I'll check the devil deal here. Particularly happy with that. Um... What was I going to say? 
Uh, yeah, like, I've seen, I've seen it where people do, like, art where the, um, they'll, like, draw their Isaac character. And I think those are so cool, and I'd love to be able to do that, but I'm just not even remotely a talented enough artist to do that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, I gotta say, I wish I was, but it just kind of is what it is. Honestly, I think at this point, we can kind of skip most rooms that we can skip. Apparently, this one had other things in mind for us. Oh, damn it. Okay, so there is a shop on every room floor. They're just unmarked. My bad, I guess. Didn't realize they'd be unmarked. Um, each tier has a... Ha each tier has a random effect in the current room. It's pretty good. Like the idea. Let's just use it. Oh, so I, th I think it's basically just like a reusable fruit... Like a, an active fruitcake. I fucking love. Again, a simple, simple uh, item, but good idea. I like it. So yeah, uh, there's, there is shops that are just unmarked on the map, so good good to know that in the, for the future. Good to know that. But now I wonder if it's worth us even getting any more items or not. You... We are kind of speeding through right now. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame I missed out on a shop that last floor now. It really is. I just didn't know. I just didn't know. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite modded characters. Really cool. Nothing super out there, but definitely fun. I love a fruitcake active. Bad hit on my behalf here, but remember we get three free hits off floor, so the hits we take for the first three. It can be a bit more aggressive. You don't have to worry about it so much. By the way, I think my Wraith Shots are inheriting my tier effects. I didn't think they would, but they, they certainly are. But you can see a few of them there get, like, getting bugger tiered and stuff. There you go. You get a bit glitchy looking. Ooh, we can do Hush if we'd like to. I think we have the opportunity to do Hush here and do it reasonably well. We've got all the keys going on as well, and there's another shop here we can take advantage of. Anarchist cookbook, not the best. Ooh, hello. Wait. Why did that last one not give me the item? Why do I have so many curses? What has happened here? I am confused. Why do I have so many curses on this floor? Is that Diplopia there? I don't know what this is. I'm going to take it. Free Plum, hell yeah. Also another familiar too. Should, should have gone to these rooms first. Most certainly should have gone to these rooms first. My bad. Didn't really think about the fact that these were going to just be cursed. Stupido. Yeah, I don't know why um, Glass Eye disappeared like it did. A bit confused by that. Let's give this a go. See how we do. Hope we can just stick a bunch of shots to him. My alarm's telling me to upload my videos. I will do it when I want to. Alarm. You can't judge me. By the way, for those of you wondering from the last episode that I put out yesterday with the character showcase, we will be doing more of those as the days go by. I just don't want to do them consecutively. I don't want to overload people with just character showcases. I will be doing more of those. This one, there you go. Okay, on to the actual big boy. We've got two free hits still waiting. I think with, um... What's going on with this guy? Why can't you shoot me? Is it because of Lodestone? Uh, I'm hoping with uh, the buggers he is, we'll do decent enough damage to kill this guy reasonably quickly. I think it is Lodestone, you know. Bloodstone is meaning he can't hit me, which I very much enjoy. That bomb went bye-bye. I use the bombs where I can. The fire the bomb does on contact damage, and then the fire it leaves behind, plus the actual bomb itself. It's good stuff, although I only have eight, so not great. I forget how good Lodestone is against this boss, man. 
just absolutely neutralizes all of his attacks, doesn't it? Whoa! It happened. Wraith went crazy again. Still don't know what causes it to do that every now and again, but... I accept it. It's... It'd be interesting if, um... If it did bug out with, with Bugger Tears. Because then, the actual um, Wraith Shots themselves would cause Bugger Tears. Which would then cause more Wraith Shots. Which would then cause more Bugger Tears. And it would create this scary infinite loop. That would, uh, yeah, certainly spell trouble. Let's try and get the rest of our bombs in there. Because this guy is taking quite some time to die. Get out of here, flies. We got him just under halfway dead, though. I always use that little scar in the middle of the health bar to notify where halfway is. I'm not sure if that is exactly halfway, but it always feels like it is to me. Oh, bollocks. Ah, for fuck's sake, I've lost my last free hit. I moved around way too much there. Dude, can you stop spawning flies, please? This is a bit ridiculous. bit ridiculous, I have to say. Certainly going a little bit slower than I would have liked. We're slowly but surely getting there. And it's another thing ticked off. There might be a... It might be the case where it's an unlock where we have to do boss rush as well. Or this might be the full unlock itself. I guess we'll find out. Oh, really? I'm getting hit loads right now. I don't mind getting hit a bit because I'm going to have three free hits on the next wall. So it's not that bad. Still, if I can avoid it, I, I ought to avoid it, really. It's just this attack, man. With uh, with Lodestone, it's really, really not easy to dodge. As soon as I hit a Lodestone shot, it starts kind of slightly whacking them off kilter and making their trajectory change in ways that I can't really predict, as you can clearly see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Lodestone with this attack is very bad. I've never really experienced that before, but... Or noticed it before, should I say, but... Certainly makes things tricky. Oh, really? This attack plus everything else that's going on on screen? We might actually die to this guy. I'm hoping Nox's health is very low now. But he won't get out the fucking ground. Be a man, fight! Little bastard. This attack again? Come on now. While you're doing everything else as well. Real fair, my guy. Real fair. Get gone. Oh, are you kidding me? There was a random shot there. Why? Why? Okay. Down we go. Don't know how likely we are to live, but you got to remember we've got three extra hits than it looks like we have every floor, which certainly helps. I would like to maybe check to see if the shop's on this floor, but I am a little bit scared to do that because of all the just extra rooms we're going to have to go to in order to figure that out. That seems scary. Oh shit, yes. I just remembered. I completely forgot that I can just skip rooms right now. I really ought to be doing that to try and preserve my, uh, my extra hits. Okay. Glad I did that. Glad I did that. Get some shots in. We've goldified him straight away. I love gold. Did we use the, the uh, active on the last, uh, on the hush fight? I don't think we did, did we? We just used it on the mum's heart fight. Which is a shame, because that would help the hush fight immensely. Okay. First phase is going down relatively easily. Haven't done his hard attacks yet. And now we've just got the feet, which the feet generally die pretty darn quickly, but they can be pretty tricky just due to the new rock mechanics. Oh, uh, something happened and it insta-died, so that helped. Uh, next shop you visit will have will not have a trinket trader. Ooh, uh, no, no, no. I don't even know if there's going to be a shop this far in. I really ought to do some checking out and find out, but I'll be doing the same thing again, just skipping to the boss, I think. Uh, red button. Spawns a red button when entering a room. Act uh, activate random pressure, pressure plate effect when pressed. After pressing 66 times, no longer appears in current room. Intri intriguing. It's gone now. 
Um, pay one coin to spawn a hungry soul. Remove itself when you die. Kind of good. We don't really have the HP to take any of these, but curious to see what they are. Okay. We can walk between rooms here. We very much ought to be. We get rooms that look gross. This is the right way, correct? No thanks, buddy. Wait, what? Which way am I meant to be going here? The boss room's meant to be down. This is what I mean by the game tries to, like, fool you. Telling me it's goddamn this way? It's clearly not, bastard. Or at least it look, makes it look like it's that way. Oh, you bastard! I tried! I tried to sneak in before the bell. Couldn't make it in time. We have lost one of our free hits, which certainly doesn't bode well. And there's two of our free hits gone. God damn it. Okay, so this boss fight is going to be rough. Like, really rough. Because we've only got three hits to do this in. But, we do have a lot of damage on our side. Lodestone plus other things is giving us a lot of support here. Stunning him and stuff. We've split the bodies now, which is good. We haven't got bombs, unfortunately, which I don't like. Honestly, Lodestone, you're saving my life right now. Stopping his shots, getting too far away from him. Okay, body is now dead. Just the head left. He's going to do some wacky brimstone shit in a minute, isn't he? I know, you fool. Okay, luckily we got him. Nice one. Nice victory there. And we'll see what we get unlocked for that as well, if anything. Either way, though, I enjoyed that one. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys in the next one.